Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Today's Kingdom Hearts story is a fix it because, God dang it, I've been playing the third game. I am not amused. I mean, I am amused, but dang. So we we gotta we gotta fix some things in Kingdom Hearts three because I'm not having it. Here we go. Sora kicked another rock as he continued his little walk through the woods. He needed to get away for just a minute to clear his head. Just a few moments ago, he straight up yelled at Riku, King Mickey, Yin said, Jiminy, Donald, and even Goofy. He couldn't help it though. Their teasing just went too far. He wasn't an idiot. He was doing his absolute best. He knows he needs the power of awakening, but he doesn't know what happened, what went wrong. Well, he does, but that was beside the point. He wasn't going to Go into the realm of darkness, guns blazing? Heck no, who would do that? That was completely asinine. But it didn't help that their teasing just... Sora was ready. He was. Just because he didn't have the power of awakening didn't mean he didn't have other strengths that would greatly help. He just couldn't figure it out. He came to a clearing with a crystal blue lake and he sat down in front of it. He picked up a rock and skipped it. He sighed as he began to murmur to himself, I know I'm worthless and I'm not worthy for the keyblade. I know I'm useless and hopeless, but... I'm doing my best, but it just, it doesn't seem to be enough. He looked up at the sky that seemed to have endless amounts of stars. One shined the brightest. What should I do? I don't think I can go on like this, and I know that they were just teasing, but... It still hurts. Like, I just, I can't. I don't know what to do, he said, on the verge of tears. He let the tears fall and just, he lay down on the ground and buried his head in his arms and just let it all go. Suddenly, he heard footsteps. He jumped up, ready for a battle. But he relaxed. It was only Riku. Oh, hey. Hey. Can we talk? I guess, Sora, I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? You're perfect. What? Me? Per- Sora, I'm far from perfect. Oh no. Then why do you get to go on all the bigger missions with King Mickey? Why do you get to go to the realm of darkness? Why do you get to... You're not a disappointment. Not to anyone. You're the bigger, better, stronger Keyblade wielder. It should be you doing all this. Not me. I should be stuck on our island just... Withering away, I guess. Hey, stop that. Sora, you're just as important. I'm not, though. I'm just not. Yes, 
You are Sora. I'm sorry you felt... <sighs> forget it, Sora said. Just forget it, okay? Just leave me alone. I can't do that. Why not? You guys abandoned me once. What's stopping you now? Sora. I don't think I've ever apologized for that, huh? I'm really, really sorry. It's in the past. Doesn't do you well to dwell in it, right? Sora. I would give anything... I guess, to give up the Keyblade. What? Sora, what are you talking about? Give up the Keyblade? I'm not fit for it, okay? Tunnel, Goofy, you guys are all right. I'm too stupid and unworthy to do this. Yeah, I saved worlds and befriended many people, but... What does that matter? I was just removing Heartless like a good little errand boy. What? Okay, Sora, enough is enough. You did some real good. You saved all these worlds. And you saved me. You saved Kairi. You saved our islands. Sora, that's something I never could have done. Ever. The bigger missions with King Mickey, it's not because Mickey doesn't like you or anything, it's because I have more of a connection to the darkness. It doesn't affect me. Mickey doesn't want you to lose your light, that's all. He's worried that you'll get hurt. Or worse. It doesn't mean that he but Sora wasn't paying attention. He was too wrapped up in his own head. Alright, that's it. Come here. Uh, Riku, what are you doing? Put me down! Nope, we are going to have the biggest, fattest family discussion right now. Riku, stop it! Just put me down. Okay, just leave me be. Uh-uh. You are too in your own head. We are getting all these feelings out, and we are just going to talk about it. Riku, I don't want to. It's fine. It's not fine, Sora. Listen to yourself. The way you're talking negatively? Where's my Sora? I don't know. He's lost, okay? Well, we're going to bring him back then. Because my Sora, he would look at things more positively. Your Sora isn't here. Please leave a message. <sighs> there you guys are, Mickey exclaimed happily as they entered back into the tower. Oh, Sora, we're... You don't have to apologize. Oh, yes, they do. Riku, it's honestly... Sora? No. Stop it. Fine. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about how worthless I am. How useless. How downright stupid I am. How I shouldn't be wielding the Keyblade. How it chose the wrong person. How this should be you and... Hell, it should be Roxas. Of all people. That would be better, I guess. Sora? Yin said, started. I know I'm the biggest disappointment, but why can't my best just be enough? Oh, Sora, Goofy said. Now, Sora, just... Can we just... I'll just li leave it be, please. I can't 
do this. You can and you will. Sora, we're sorry. We didn't realize that our teasing hurt you so much. It's fine. My enemies say the same thing, so it's gotta be true, right? Donald let out a high-pitched screech. It's not true. Not true at all. I'm sorry, Sora. I shouldn't have teased you like that. If I knew it hurt you so badly, I wouldn't have said anything. It's fine. No, it's not fine. Teasing between friends should never hurt. He's right, Sora. It should never, ever hurt. It should be fun. You should be laughing, not crying. Oh, Sora. We are so very sorry, Jiminy said. But they're right. Teasing between friends should never, ever hurt. It's... it's Sora couldn't get out the words as he started crying again. Sora, you may not have the power of awakening, but events that have occurred were not your fault and be out of your control. And I'm sorry you felt such heavy burdens. And I'm sorry we made you feel like you weren't capable. You weren't wrong, though. <laughs> we were wrong. You are doing your best, as you said. And your best is enough. You are enough, the old wizard said. He's right, Sora. You're definitely enough, and you're doing your absolute best. You are more than worthy of the Keyblade. Sora, think back to when you started your journey. Remember that voice you told me about? Yeah, I remember. That was me, Sora. What? That was... that was you? Oh, Sora, please. Here, dry your eyes. Sora took the tissue and dabbed at his eyes after he blew his nose. Well, he blew his nose, then dried his eyes. That would have been weird and disgusting if he did it the other way. What do you mean it was... Your voice, Sora's voice shook. Oh, Sora, I saw something in you that could handle this type of journey. I still see that thing within you. Something that Riku and the others definitely do not have. <laughs> what is it? That's for you to figure out. When it comes time. But Sora, the Keyblade definitely chose you as it saw the same thing that I did. You are worthy of being its master. It wouldn't have picked you otherwise. But then, well, why? Oh, Sora. We're sorry we never took your feelings into consideration. And that we just kept playing off of everything. So the things that Pete said really did get to you, huh? Goofy asked. They did. Yeah. They shouldn't have. I should be. You're strong enough, Sora. But sometimes, words have a bigger impact than fists. Yeah, they do. They definitely can hurt. Oh, yes. 
We're so sorry, Sora. But just know that you matter a great deal to us. Mickey's right, Sora. You mean a great deal to Donald and I. We love you very much, Sora. Oh, yes, Sora. Very, very much. We don't know what we do without you. You complete us. Sora. After I disappeared into the doorway, I was so worried about you. I thought about you constantly. If you had gotten home okay, if you and Kyrie were still alive, if you were just beginning another journey, it, I was really, really worried. And then you found me again, and I saw how you were thriving. You'd grown so much. And Sora, I still love you. You're my little brother. You're everyone's little brother. Yet, yeah. so you guys really don't think you are worthy, Sora. You're not hopeless, you're not worthless, and you're definitely not useless. You matter. And if we have to beat that into your head, we're going to. <clears throat> yeah? That's right, Sora. From now on, no more teasing. Well, at least teasing that doesn't hurt. Okay. I, I can deal with that. And Sora... I must apologize for my part in all of this. I put a great deal of burden onto you, and a great deal of pressure. I see how worn down it's making you. But like everyone has stated, you are worthy, and your best is definitely enough. You are good enough. Thank you, Master. So... What now? Well, you continue to regain your strength. And when you're truly ready, power of awakening or no, you may go save Aqua. But for right now, other worlds need you. More friends to make, right? More allies in our corner. So come on, Sora. What are we waiting for? <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Riku then gave Sora the biggest hug ever. Followed by Mickey, Goofy, Donald, Jiminy tried to get in. And Master Yin said just sat by and watched with a smile on his face. They didn't realize that Sora had felt this way, and if they did, they certainly wouldn't have teased him in the way that they did. If they knew that it hurt him this badly, they wouldn't have done it at all. They should have realized, though, that Sora was just a child, that he was hurting. He wasn't a grown-up, not yet. He might be a teenager, and he might think that he's grown. But he's still just a child. And children need reassurance. He watched as the group left. They parted ways and Sora was off on the next part of his adventure. He wasn't ready for the realm of darkness. But he was ready to tackle everything else. With his head held up high... Sora got into the pilot seat of the gummy ship and they took off for the next world. He felt lighter, brighter, and happier. Aww! 
guys, so I just want to say you absolutely matter, all right? You absolutely 100% matter. You're not worthless. You're not useless. You're not hopeless. You matter. If anything, you matter to me, okay? I'm with you 100% and know that I felt this way too many, many times. But you matter. I matter. And in the end, and at the end of the day, it's all going to be okay. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.